A woman's life changes after marriage when she learns to adjust to a new lifestyle and love her husband and his family. But once she is pregnant, her responsibilities increase. For now she has to take care of herself and also the new life developing within her womb. The nine months of gestation, however happy and fulfilling, are still full of responsibility for a to-be mother. She has to keep an active routine along with eating timely and balanced meals, plenty of love and care from in-laws, husband support and also a happy family atmosphere to go a long way in begetting a healthy baby. And of course, Ayurveda too can help develop a pregnant woman's nutrition quotient along with providing her basic remedies for curing common pregnancy related problems. Namaskar. Welcome to Eternal Health. The topic of this talk is Ayurveda and pregnancy care. Talking about pregnancy, Ayurveda explains a lot of details which have now been proved by modern science. Ayurveda says that whenever somebody wants to have a child, they should plan it properly. Of course, planning means preparing of both the parents. Physical preparation, mental preparation and Ayurveda also talk about economical preparations. In Ayurveda, they always give such wonderful examples. Spilling out of the oil means that the miscarriage or abortion can take place if we do not take care of the pregnant woman. Ayurveda says that if the mother is having too much vata type of foods, we always talk about vata, pitta and kapha in Ayurveda. If the mother is on vata aggravating diets, which means lot of crunchy, dry and wind forming foods, the 65% of babies were either malnourished or they were born with some defective organs and many of them also had a miscarriage. So whatever is described in Ayurveda has now been confirmed by modern science. In the modern science also they have seen this connection between diet and the child. It is said that if there is a lack of proteins and calorie in the last trimester of pregnancy then the children born may have less development of brain. They can have nervous system problems. They can have problems with their brain specifically. Also, if there is a lack of folic acid in the first trimester, then they can have spinal tube related problems. So, this in Ayurveda has been very nicely described. In Ayurveda, in fact, they give diet for each month what should be taken in the first month, what should be taken in the second month. There is a month-wise detail of diet and regimen. Also, Ayurveda advises that the mother should take a complete nutritious diet. When we talk about nutrition in Ayurveda, we are not talking about the quantity of food. Generally, we are referring to a food which contains all the six tastes which are described in Ayurveda. The six tastes are sweet, sour, salty, bitter, astringent and pungent. So the food should contain all the six tastes. At the same time, very very important is that this food should be easily digestible. If the food will not digest, ama will be formed. Ama is a toxic material and this ama can cause many diseases in the mother as well as in the child. The second thing which is very very important for the mother is the mental state of the mother. It has been also proved now scientifically that the mental state of the mother affects the mental state of the child. And in order to keep the mother stress free, the family plays a very important role. She has to be taken care, she has to be supported. Again, the idea mentioned in Ayurveda that once the mother becomes pregnant, she is like a ball full of oil. Means everybody has to be very careful not to let her overwork, not to let her do some kind of work which can actually disturb her mental state. So therefore, the things mentioned in Ayurveda are very scientific 
and we have to carefully understand these small tips and implement these tips in the mother's life or the woman who is expecting a child. Food plays an important role during pregnancy. So the food which the mother takes, Ayurveda explains, the food should not be excessively heating. In Ayurveda, the word for this is Ushnavirya, no Ushnavirya. We have to take Sheetvirya. Sheet means cooling foods. Because the heating foods can cause miscarriage, especially in the first trimester. It is very, very important to be careful not to give any heating things. That is why we also avoid giving strong antibiotics and other chemical medicines or drugs because they can be heating and they can actually cause some side reactions. Of course, in addition to this, Ayurveda gives wonderful tips of the problems which the mother passes through. For example, in the initial months, a very common problem which the mother faces is nausea. She feels vomiting sensation, morning sickness it is called. In order to get rid of this problem, Ayurveda suggests very nice simple home remedy. You can cut small pieces of lime or lemon, small pieces and sprinkle some salt on that. If you can find black salt, it will be very nice, otherwise you can sprinkle just common salt. Take a small piece of this lime or lemon sprinkled with salt, put it in mouth and chew it slowly. This will get rid of that morning sickness or the so-called nausea feeling. Therefore, those of you who are planning to have a child or those of you who know anybody who is pregnant, they should be suggested to use Ayurvedic care. We have also a special package designed only for pregnant women which can be bought over the internet or from our Jiva Ayurvedic centers. It is very important that a pregnant mother takes care of herself, her diet, lifestyle and specifically the mental state. Then only she can give birth to a healthy child and if any problems occurring in this phase, there are solutions in Ayurveda, simple solutions which can be dealt with only with simple tips, home remedies or some general changes in your life activities. Thank you very much. Namaskar.